Good evening, good morning, good afternoon. Who knows what time it is when you are watching this video, but that's what's so cool about technology today. This is Mr. Krauss. I'm here to talk about MLA format as it goes with Google Docs. I hope you enjoy. So here I am on my Google screen. I have not logged in yet, so I gotta click sign in. And once you click sign in, this screen pops up. Type in your email, your password, and sign. Boom, super easy. Now that you're in this screen, you want to find up here, there's you. You can go into uh, Google Plus. There's your email, uh, the infamous images. A great tool if you're ever building a, a presentation. And here is your tiles or your apps for Google. Yes, apps. Click on Google Drive. And when that pops up, you're ready to look for Create. Click Create. Obviously, we're talking about your essay. Just in case you're not in, Mr. Krauss is not using Google Chrome as I should be. Mental note, need to fix that. Let's have an essay with some words in it. Get some typing on the page for you. Now that you know Mr. Krauss can type a super fast essay, let's fix them. First thing you need to know is in the upper left-hand corner, your heading, H -I, or excuse me, H-E-A-D-I-N-G, needs to have the following information. Your name, teacher's name, and next, does anybody know? That's right, you guessed it your English course and period number and last but not least date formally there you go so now that we've got a good heading let's go ahead and highlight everything you can click and drag or you can try the shortcut control a boom and what we want to do is look at our font first Mr. Krauss only accepts Times New Roman moreover uh, make sure all of that stuff is selected okay so you guys can see there is a whole essay here uh, that it needs to be size 12 Right, no funny font, no bolds, no anything like that. All right, everything selected. Uh, we also need to double check and make sure our spacing is good. So let's go to format, slide on down to line spacing. Maybe a little more clear or easier than Microsoft Word. I'm just saying. It's also free. The the title needs to be centered, doesn't it? That's so easy. Right up here is your adjustments. Left, center, center. Boom. Uh-oh. Looks like we got a little spacing, spacing issue. Let's take care of that. Take care of these things. Got to fix it. Oh, boy. Lots of mistakes. Got to fix it. A little edit undo, and we're back in business. So, to review, we've got a uh, heading, the proper information. We've got a centered title. Maybe not the most creative, but a title. Moreover, we've adjusted our font to Times New Roman size 12, which leaves us with uh, line spacing. We went with format. And last but not least, we've got page number. Scroll on down, you'll see it says page number. Of course, you know it goes at the top of the page. All right, uh, Google does a great job putting in that upper right-hand corner. Type your last name, space. Double-click down in the text, and you guys are formatted. Congratulations. Uh, of course, let me know if you have any questions uh, in the comments section or text me or email me. Good luck, and I can't wait to see your essay or see you guys back in school. Mr. Krause has gone ahead and pulled this thing out of mothballs, and I need to edit it or add an addendum here to the end of this video. When it comes to naming your essay, you go under File, Rename, is one way to do it or you can also just click right on there and it'll let you do it I can't recommend this enough please include your last name in parentheses so I know it's not the title of the essay when you turn it in uh, and click OK alright thanks guys for watching uh, I'll see you at school on the next business day